right, folks, the science behind the superlative arms, short stroke piston kit, high speed camera set at 2,000 frames per second. Here we go. Test firing in three, two, one. See what that looked like. Stand by. So I'm going to play this at regular speed, slow mo. And then coming up, I want you to watch the adjustable gas block, that little porthole. See that little effect, the chimney effect? We'll zoom in here. You see that little puff? Now the piston, heart half inch rearward travel distance. And then the piston at the home position. Watch the gradients on the marks. Perfect three o'clock ejection off the angled ejection. Spring slowly compresses inside the adjustable gas block until piston contacts a hard stop. That's pretty cool. Gotta love those results. So if we look at the angle of injection, there's my ejection port. We follow it to the brass. There you see the brass laying. So that's just about perfect. Three, 305, 310. All right, folks, let's talk a little bit about the superlative arms, short stroke piston gas kit. Pretty awesome setup. Guys that love them, guys that hate them. Actually, you know, I'm a huge proponent of them because the AR direct impingement gas system is extremely dirty, especially when you're running a can. So I'm always looking for better ways to improve my efficiency, you know, shooting my guns. And one of the best things to do is put a piston kit on. We're kind of looking at the science behind this piston kit. Before we go into that, a couple things about their specific kit. Number one, one of the biggest problems folks have, not just with piston kits, but actually gas blocks, is that they do not align the orifice on your barrel with the porthole on the gas block. So what I've done, fairly simple, just take a set of calipers and actually measure the dimension from the shoulder on your journal to the gas port on your barrel. Me take that dimension, look at it on your calipers, and then measure the dimension on your gas block. Hopefully those will line up depending on where those two holes line up. That's a huge thing. You gotta make sure you get that correct. The other thing is you wanna make sure you're, you're at 12 o'clock. You know, your alignment on your, your op rod or your gas tube is at 12 o'clock. Those are the two biggest things you wanna watch out for. So anyways, yeah, you know, this is actually my second video on the science behind the superlative arms uh, piston kit. I've got my high-speed camera set at uh, 2,000 frames per second. Let's go ahead and uh, that first round was, I think that was like a 62 grain uh, varmint round. Let's try a 62 grain green tip. What do you say? Okay. Make sure we are lined up safely. High-speed camera ready. Let's go ahead and take a shot. Here we go. Man, that's perfect. Three o'clock. That's what I want. I tell you what folks, watching slow-mo never gets old. So I'm gonna keep replaying, watch the gas block, watch the little choo-choo train. See the gas escaping, once again, out the front and the top. That's pretty cool. Superlative arms, bleed off. Can't beat the system, running nice and clean. Clean is good. Mr. Clean takes that tough out of grime zone. You start restricting the gas and you don't actually vent the gas you're not actually pitching off the orifice so per se. The gas is actually being vented the, out the gas block so you don't get that gas feeding back into the chamber. Folks, I've got three rounds. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do a three round burst fire. The high speed camera set up to six seconds pre-trigger, one second post-trigger. See if I can pull this off, here we go. Nice. <laughs> just making some observations here first thing look at the brass hitting that angled deflector you talk about picture perfect three o'clock ejection case mouse are not getting destroyed the other observation is watch that little smokestack that's so cool gotta love it all right folks just a quick video on the superlative arms Short stroke piston kit for an ARs is an awesome setup. The guns just run so much cleaner with the piston kit. I'm just really impressed with them. I, I'm, you know, I'm really hoping is that they come out with something for my 8.6 blackouts, especially my subsonics, because man, them suckers are dirty too. So this Neato with AP 2020 Outdoors, remember, support that Second Amendment. We'll see you later, and I thank you. <laughs>